Hey everybody, stay tuned. I'm gonna be installing Baja Design fog lights into my 2017 Toyota Tacoma. What we have here is Baja Designs Squadron Sport lights. As you can see, they're, they're amber in color. Not only that it's made in America, it has a 30 day return policy. For any reason, if you don't like it, return it. Also, it has a lifetime warranty against manufacturer defects, which is really cool. Please look at my description to see how you can save 10% off anything from Baja Design's website. See here though, is specifically for the Toyotas. It fits the Tacomas 2012 to 2017, the uh, Forerunners, and the Tundras. The reason why I bought them is because they came with these brand new bezels. They just uh, created these pockets, they call them. Uh, they just literally came out a few weeks ago and it caught my eye that when you mount, generally speaking, you have this gap. So with this pocket, it covers the gap and it replaces that cover that you see there. In the bag, there's brackets and two wiring harnesses as well as a harness that you apply to install to the fog lights themselves. You'll use an Allen wrench to remove the four bolts that you see here. Once you remove it, you'll see that the covers actually are interchangeable, which is cool. So these are the wide cornering ambers. If you wanted to, you can change it to a clear you can change it to a spot. You can change it to a flood just by changing that cover. It's a really cool benefit. Also what's cool if it breaks, you can replace it that way. So you'll put in the bezel, the heat sinks are on top. This is the driver's side bezel that I'm working on. So the gap is towards the inside and that's where I'm screwing it back on. You want to screw it on nice and even, not super tight to cause any damage to the gasket. There's two ways to get into removing or getting into the access of the fog lights. One is you can get through the, the fender liner here and you would take off this screw. Kind of got loose. You would take off this screw, this screw, another screw on the bottom. I think in one up here one more up here and you could kind of just push it away and uh, work your way through it to get access. So that's one way. Another way if you don't want to do it and it works as well, it's getting through the top. You would access it. It's hard to see. I don't have a lot of light, but you can see where the headlight is in orientation. You would access it right here in this pocket and kind of reach through here to access everything. The way you're going to remove things first of all or second of all and so this trowel needs to come out so there's little tabs and I went ahead and kind of worked it already to remove it but I'll show you how the tabs are you can see there's one two three four five six tabs so that'll be on both sides of the uh, fog light housing and all of them you're gonna try to depress it so you would reach around like I said either through the back or through the the top whatever's your favorite way to get at and all these, almost all these, will be pushed from the top. The bottom one though, physically on the bottom, would be pushed upward, so bottom up instead of top down. And the one on the middle here, which kind of took me a while to figure out, it pushes down too. So one, two, three, they'll be pushed down, downward. Side one goes inward, the bottom two, goes upward and you'll just kind of work it to remove this this shroud in order to put it back that'll be easier what I've noticed now is in here right behind here is actually a, a Phillips screw and that's the only thing holding this down the other thing I forgot to mention is that you're gonna disconnect the harness that that powers this up so it's a really easy install, hopefully. I had problems with my headlights, as you know. But that's what I'm gonna be doing. 
I got the kit, so I'll, we'll go back to the kit. What I'm doing here is I'm getting the multimeter and I'm checking the polarity. I've noticed that the green cable on the truck is positive and the white is negative. I hooked up the harness that came with the Baja Designs kit. The black is indeed negative and the brown is positive, which I verified. I went ahead and plugged in the harness that came with it, snapped it in and closed it. Had my son turn on the light just to make sure it lights up, which is proper. One side has two ears that will slide in the OEM spot. On the other side is just a single mount where you would put that screw. Once you're done with that, you're just going to insert the shroud securely by snapping in. And then you're all set. As you can see here, the gap is reduced an inch deep on one corner. And that just makes a big improvement cosmetically. We're here at night to show the lights. What I had to do is make a slight adjustment. It was pointing a little bit too high and I went ahead and tilted a little bit more down, which wasn't that hard. Now it's pointing perfectly. I had LED drop-ins before and those would shine all over the place. They were reflecting literally everywhere. With the Baja lights, it doesn't shine too high and it actually cuts off where it should go versus pointing everywhere like my neighbor's house. Now in front of my street, I'm shooting across about four blocks and the light is sh shining nicely on the lower part of the road where a typical fog light should work. I switched on my low beam retrofits just to show that it doesn't overwhelm the lights. I want to say thanks again for watching my channel. I appreciate all the likes, the comments, and please stay tuned for more.